The history of image synthesis goes back to the beginning of the 60s and devices created by such pioneers as Lee Harrison III, Dan Slater and Eric Siegel. Now we are dealing with a tool from Portuguese company Imaginendo that can function as a standalone program and application for iOS or a VST and AU plugin that can be run in DAWs. And the last one is especially interesting because it allows you to create a visualization ideally suited to our music. VS works like a classic additive synthesizer but produced moving images instead of sound. Their sources are oscillators, here called materials. The material is a looped visualization that is subject to extensive editing. We have 50 of them at our disposal, from simply geometric forms to advanced structures such as clouds, galaxies or fractals. A layer is a multi-voice synthesizer, which means that the same material can be triggered from each voice independently, with each voice having different visual characteristics. Layers, on the other hand, can be switched and mixed, having an additional freely definable background layer. A kind of combination of additive synthesizer with a Photoshop. Let's have a look at the plugin interface that we run on a MIDI track like any other synthesizer. At the top there is a bar with access to functions such as MIDI Learn. It allows you to assign manipulators from a MIDI controller to the plugin controls. Controls can also be automated from DAW. There is also an option to disable synchronization to the project and set your own BPM, available only in the standalone VS version. We can save settings and selecting preset from the factory extensive menu or sequentially. Use the button with a spinet arrow to return to the initial setting of the recalled preset. The demo allows you to activate looped audio clips, which, in the absence of other material, can be used as a signal that triggers video events. The main display window can function in five different precision settings, which can be changed in the options. Here, too, we can change our account details, activate the plugin inputs and outputs so that it can work in loop through mode and turn on the demo player's output as a signal source. In the upper right corner of the screen, the current number of frames per second is present and in the left corner, we can turn on a short guide to the most important functions. The screen itself can be duplicated in the form of a second window to be displayed on a second monitor or projector. Such a flatting window can be indicated in streaming or video recording programs as a standalone source and thus stream or record what is happened on the screen. The twisted arrows in the lower left corner give you an access to the undo and redo functions. This bar is a layer manager. The first one from the top is layer 1 and marked with the letter B is the background. This is where we load materials, which can be animation in MPEG-4 format, available in the library. Most of them are accompanied by a link that opens the creator's website, along with an editor that allows you to edit it or download one. The animations were created in the GLSL format, you can edit them, create them from scratch and download them for use in VS. After selecting the material for a given layer, turn it on 
with the enabled button. For each material we have a different set of parameters defined by its creator, although several controls are repeated in each material, including alpha, brightness and speed. Clicking the arrow in the lower left corner gives you access to the modulators, which are 4 LFO generator, 2 envelopes and 4 audio modulators for VS working on the audio track. Modulation sources can also be MIDI note pitch and velocity value. Let's see how it works. On the MIDI track we will program several notes of different pitches and velocities. We're gonna set the background material. The background can also be any animation or graphics. By selecting the material you can immediately preview it. Below it will be the solid color set here. The material can be rotated, scaled and moved. With the alpha regulator we set the transparency of the black color in the material and with the fill mode button we define whether it should automatically fill the window or keep the original proportions. The background modulation cannot be used directly in the plugin, but it is possible to automate its parameters in the DAW. Let's see how to do this for the transparency of the black color in a graphic. The layers are stuck from top left to the background to the right. By default, the plugin has already loaded material on layer 1. Right click to open the menu with the choice of materials, copy and paste the content of the layer and reset its content and modulation. After switching on a given layer, thumbnail is displayed in the preview window. The arrangement of layers can be changed by dragging. In the non-trigger mode, the layer will be visible all the time and in the MIDI mode, the display will be triggered by MIDI messages, the parameters of which can be used as a modulation source. In the color pipe material, let's adjust brightness to velocity. and depth, the number of discs, to the pitch of the note. By clicking the circle on the left side, you can define the color of the layer. Let's move on. Let LFO1 change the spacing value which is the distance between the discs for this material. To set the LFO parameters, click the three sliders icon. Here we have access to four LFOs, two envelopes and four gating modulators responsive to the audio signal. The names of these modulators are borrowed from the naming of similar functions in synthesizers so that musicians and producers can quickly see what they are for. Let's load an audio clip on the track and turn on the eye of Agamotto material on the layer. To control the audio signal, it's necessary to disable MIDI triggering. It's also a good idea to reset the EG1 modulation by double-clicking the intersection of EG1 and brightness. We will modulate the brightness and radius parameters using the AM1 gate.
Now our element pulses with the rhythm. To make it change color simultaneously, let the hue modulate via LFO1, setting the Southwood waveform and quarter note timing to the project tempo. If, however, our clip will be controlled by MIDI messages, it's worth using modulation via the note pitch, which we will assign here to the radius parameter, which may be responsible, for example, for a speed of rotation. In addition, each layer in the MIDI control mode can receive different messages on different MIDI channels, which gives us even more possibilities for programming the visualization. The view can be switched to the entire screen at any time or transferred to another monitor. We will disable the first and add a second layer, for example with a rectangle, which we will control the 4 on 4 bit on the second MIDI channel. We will turn it on to the MIDI channel number 2 and in the Piano Roll Editor we will define such a display so that we can program sounds on individual channels independently. We will program a different pitch for each note and a different velocity value. In the modulation metrics we will assign note to the hue and brightness parameters and velocity to the XY rotation parameters, saturation, stroke size and thickness. LFO1 will be modulating the position of the object in the X and Y axis and we have a cube that moves, rotates and changes color. Now we can copy layer 2 and move it to layer 3. For this layer, we'll define different modulation parameters to get more or less the same as on layer 2, but working differently. To make the transition between MIDI messages smooth, you can increase the glide setting. Finally, we add layer 1 and automate the transparency of the graphic. The most valuable advantage of Imaginendo VS, apart from an extremely attractive price, is an exceptionally musical approach to visualization. Everything works exactly the same as in synthesizers and we can control a whole range of parameters with tools known to us, such as LFO, envelopes, pitch, velocity and so on, to create live visualization. You will not find anything better about this quality functionality at this price in an exceptionally music-friendly form. <laughs>